Welcome back to another episode of Forgotten Gear Restorations. We're here on a weekend trying to squeeze in a little bit of interesting work, and I'm ducking out in the garage trying to escape my kids so I can cut a quick voiceover. Working on a Freeman a Plexi derivative. This one's a 50 water that seems to be blowing fuses. Why is it doing that? We're going to dive in really quick and find out. Word of caution, you're going to want to drain this amp. It's not going to drain on its own after unplugging it. Ask me why I know. All right, Jules, so I got your kid's Friedman Plex here. Part of his vintage family of amps. This one, as the name indicates, is a Marshall Plexi. Uh, derivative. Very cool. Um, you're saying it's blowing both fuses. And we want to make sure that... We're just dealing with a short in the output tubes and it's nothing more complex than that. So um, I did have a look into a cursory inspection. Um, your filter caps are not shorted, so that's great news. It looks like uh, the power supply resistors are all reading within spec as well. So hopefully it's just this pair of output tubes and no other funny business. Now, having said all that, um, let me um, grab my bias meter, um, I'll plug her in, and then what we'll do is um, we'll install the new tubes, get her connected uh, to the outlet through a current limited supply, and then um, we'll go ahead and rule out anything else. Now, um, I, I can tell you also that uh, this amp does have a high and low output setting or voltage setting, uh, and then there's two potentiometers, uh, PC mounted pots. Now one's for a high voltage, the other's for a low voltage biasing. So you want, you want to make sure that uh, you have the correct bias values there for both settings. And then we'll just take it from there. All right. And it's just the same beautiful construction. And I would say repair focused design that's led many of us in the tech field to really appreciate Dave's work. Pardon me, I'm gonna hit the camera. So let me just test this fuse really quick. This is probably one of them that are out. No, nice. Looks like it's your mains. So uh, let me uh, grab a little screwdriver and I'll pull the sled out and replace that guy for you. Hang on. All right, Jules. Well, I got good news for you, buddy. Good news is that there's nothing wrong with your amp. Um, you had the wrong sized fuses uh, by quite a margin. The uh, the mains fuse should be three amps. Um, the 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 fuses that you supplied were 315 milliamps, um, and then the F2 fuse should be one amp, um, and that one's okay. So um, the amp would remain powered on for, uh, I would say about 25 seconds where things would stabilize and then the fuse would blow because uh, she was in full conduction. And as you can see here, um, we're pretty well balanced at 35 milliamps of plate current on the high voltage setting. And then switching to low, we should be around 50 given the 350-ish range of plate volts. And that's right. I'm good to go. All right, let's get a quick sound test. This is high voltage mode.
that's it. You're good to go.